And next, we're going to bring out a guest to our table. Great guest. She wanted to start the smash hit revival of Roseanne. She plays oldest daughter, Becky. Please welcome Lisey Gornson. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back. Yeah, you were welcome just here with back. the whole team. I know, it was just yesterday that I was here. <laughs> but now I don't have my backup. Right, it's yeah. just I mean, you guys. That's right, but... we love you. You're, can, thank you and congratulations. Yes. yes. On behalf of the Connor family, thank you, America, for watching our show. We are so thrilled. Yeah. It is just amazing. And, yeah, it's a it really is. And the show is a, it's a huge hit again. And why do you think it's resonated with people so much? Well, I think, you know, a family that's struggling has been an archetype through many, many years of what people can relate to. Um, no matter what socioeconomic bracket you're in or what your race is, I mean, everyone struggles with their family. And I feel like Roseanne does that in such a raw and honest right. way. And it brings wow, humor like into normal. it. So when you're watching it, you can say, wow, I can laugh at some of this <laughs> stuff. Some of this really hard stuff in life yeah. that it's happens at good. home that, you know, maybe we can, you know, it's make a, a couple of jokes about yeah. it. So yeah. I think that's and, really and what so it's about. Sorry, so many just... people can relate to it, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, with, with the political discord in this country right now, so many families are having the exact same discussions. Are, were you surprised at all by the reaction to all of the political commentary that's on the show and the divisiveness within the show, within the family? You know, our show has always had that element to it. Um, since day one. You know, I think when things come from a personal level, that it resonates on a personal level. And so whatever, you know, it's, I think people thought it was gonna be very topical, but it's really not. The politics come through the relationships in the family. And that's why it resonates so much. But we're really glad. I mean, we want people to talk about this stuff. That's part of what the show is about. You know, we want families to have dialogues. We want friends to have dialogues. And um, I think that's really part of the success of the show. Mm -hmm. So your character, Becky, is uh, hired by Andrea to be her surrogate coming yes. up in the episode. And of course, Andrea played by Sarah Chalk, who used to play Becky. Indeed. So we, want, we want to give everybody. Sarah Chalk. A little preview of that. Will you stop it? You're not going to scare me out of this. Well, you're too damn boneheaded to listen to reason. What if this is the one baby you can have? You're just not thinking this through. I don't want a baby. I have a dog. You know what? I'm not coming over here again. Can you believe that? And she was a smart one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect example. It got very tense, and then you get a laugh. Exactly. <laughs> yep. I was listening to uh, Roseanne um, give an interview, and, and she talked so much about the writers behind the scene. You have Whitney Cumming, and you've got uh, Norm Macdonald. Wanda Sykes. Yeah. I mean, wow. that is a dream team. Yeah. I mean. You know, as an actor, when you have writing that you have to resist or, or kind of bring more to, mm -hmm. it's really exhausting. You know, our writing just supports us. And it just, I mean, just this particular show tonight, there's so much complexity. I mean, Becky goes on a real journey in the show, and it doesn't feel forced. It feels organic. And there, it's also, when I cracked open the script for this show, I was doubled over laughing. Wow, I was crying and <laughs> laughing. And, um, you know, having all of those elements is just really yeah, a blessing for an actor. Yeah, about the sisterhood between you, know, you and <laughs> Becky and Darlene, it's the same as it was 20 years ago. I'm just wondering, as an actress, to come back, I mean, did it feel the same? The two of you just kind of picked up where you left off? We just launched right into <laughs> each other right away. <laughs> you know, offstage, um, Sarah and I are very, very, very good friends. 
So we have a lot of fun going at each other on the show. But one thing that's really uncomfortable for Becky and Darlene this season is that they're kind of realizing that they might need each other a little mm. bit, like as friends and, um, you know, siblings. And it makes them very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but they're giving it a go. They're giving it a go, you know. And I, it's hard for me to say there's love there. But there might be. We're, <laughs> we're working towards it. Yeah. We're working towards it's, it. You look like you're having a blast, and we're having a great time watching it. Mm -hmm. We it's, really are. It's just. And thank you for thank you for coming wait, back. Wait, can, do we have time? Can I? Can we just talk about your bag? Oh yeah. You're from the, the family's based in Illinois. You're I'm from, from Chicago. outside of Chicago. Can you Chicago. Bag in the quick. house. <laughs> this is a bag that is near and dear to your heart. Well, you know, I did this interview with the Chicago Sun Times. I was doing press there. And the first thing that was said, like, if you question that Lisey's from Chicago, look at her bag. <laughs> I mean, it's so kind of seen a lot this threadbare <laughs> and whatever. And it was funny because we had such success with the show that I got this beautiful bag from our ABC president, Channing, mm -hmm. and it was so luxurious. And my mom said, that bag is going to get stolen. You keep that pumps <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lisa, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. And be sure to tune in for Roseanne tonight at 8, 7 central right here on ABC.